So I played the 9 to 5 beta and, uh, I don't know. So I know that I'm a little late on this, but I kind of wanted to talk about 9 to 5 because I know that there's a lot of people that wanted to know my opinion on it, and I did get a chance to hop in and play. I even streamed it on Twitch for people to watch. Check out my Twitch, by the way. I also have half of my thoughts recorded before I needed to relocate my desk, so I thought, why let it go to waste? So let's go ahead and get into it. Those of you that don't know what the Honest Opinion series is, it's basically me playing Alvis or Betas and telling you what I thought. Bear in mind that these games aren't finished yet, so don't take this as the final product. So for those of you that don't know or maybe don't remember, 9 to 5 is a free-to-play 3v3 3v3 team tactics first person shooter where you outsmart the competition set in a future where corporations rule and being a mercenary for them is just another job collaboration and smart team play is what gets the job done around here not just pure reflexes your shift is about to start are you ready to make a killing so i played the alpha before this beta and i came out of it with a very mixed feeling if you would like to watch that video it is going to be at the top right and after playing this one it didn't really change that much now i'm not gonna lie and say that the game has and improved because it has but if ever there was a game that screamed free to play it would be nine to five with its very complicated and grindy looking architecture i played several matches because the matches are relatively short but i saw very little when it came to increase in my level to unlock things i think after playing like 20 matches i only got to like level two or three this is a game that i could definitely see players getting an advantage over newer players because they can unlock through grinding or possibly buying better colored weapons that's right colored weapons no idea if there's different types of weapons but there is different quality of weapons for sure i'm not entirely sure how you get the new weapons but according to this page you have to get blueprints and how you get blueprints is by leveling up i think i also had a running theory that you have to actually get them by stealing plans in game but no idea if that's the case because i don't remember finding any you are able to upgrade weapons with points that you receive by playing through matches they really don't give you a whole lot of points to work with so i'm not entirely sure if it's beneficial to save them for a specific weapon or not this could also feed into their monetization. They have credits, which I assume you get those through in-game matches, and also platinum points, which I think is the currency that you get when you purchase stuff with real money to buy better stuff in the game. And on top of that, they also have like these corporations that you can sign with that give you better perks or something. From what I understand, each corporation gives different weapons if you upgrade them by doing challenges. You aren't specifically tied to one corporation, you could go to others and unlock other stuff. I don't know, it's a bit confusing, like the UI is kind of hard to navigate but when you get used to it it seems like there's a lot to really go through like this isn't a game where you could just like pick it up and then all of a sudden you have all the things that you want this is something that you really have to work for and i just don't know if i actually have the time to put in a whole lot of hours with this game but i guess the good news is that the game certainly gives you a whole lot of customization like if you actually play the game long enough you'll be able to completely deck out your weapons and customize the way that your character looks so i guess that's something that they got going for it like even though it is a grind it does give you a whole lot of customization if you stick around and work towards it but there is that lingering fear of oh this could also be a pay to win I'm not saying that it is i just don't know how their freaking monetization is going to work out but uh yeah a lot of people have said that the gameplay looks dated and uh i kind of have to agree i feel like i've seen better looking free to play games in my previous video i mentioned that the game felt very asset heavy even though the developers have told me multiple times that the game was made in house and not with assets it just felt very asset heavy but this time around it seems like they added a lot more detail to the maps and models so it's not as bad as i remembered it just doesn't look too crazy i'm gonna turn on this dlss even though this game doesn't look pretty at all but yeah when it comes to gameplay it's honestly just okay i definitely had a lot of fun moments i got one Fuck you i killed the guy i think we killed we wiped him out we wiped him out yeah there's only one squad left what the fuck? Dude, I was not even visible to him. Oh my god, the lag. The fucking lag. Is that what it was? Oh, that was a ridiculous amount of lag. Yeah, they're all over here. They're trying to get the shit. They're right there. Just throw a grenade. No! Oh, come on, dude. 
So I definitely didn't hate it, and I did at times have a lot of fun. I felt like the gameplay was better this time around compared to the alpha. If there was anything that I really wanted to complain about it, I guess it would be the animations. Like, the animations feel like they're half finished. Like, when you're trying to heal yourself, it seems like the healing animation kind of just, like, stops, like, midway before it actually heals. Or when you're reloading, he takes out the mag, and then it's kind of like a big pause with the rifle. The animations in general are just kind of a bit finicky. It obviously didn't ruin the experience for me, but I kind of wish that it was actually better looking. The weapons that we had seem to only work at small to medium range. If you were doing like really long range, then it's really hard to hit somebody for some reason. What the fuck? What the fuck? Really? I hit him like three times in the face. And the guns would be really inaccurate, even if he had a sniper. I had heard that there was somebody from the Arma series that was working on this game, so I thought that this game was going to be more tactical. But obviously, this is an arcade game, as you can tell by all the HUD that's on my screen. And also, when you reload a mag, it doesn't, like, completely take out the mag. It basically loads a bunch of those bullets into the next up-and-coming mag. When it comes to optimization, I would say that it really didn't stutter too much for me. There was maybe, like, one time when it kind of lagged really bad. Not really sure what happened there. But before that, I hardly had any issues and i have a pretty good rig so i don't know if it's because of that or if it's just because of their server or the way they optimize their game but for the most part it ran relatively well and yeah the game modes that were in the game there's multiple different types of game modes but it's hard for me to explain them because i hardly played them more than once because they're different pretty much every round that you play but i don't even know if i really want to explain them because you don't get enough time to really execute them and even when you do it's just because the other team was fighting the other squad you know more often than not you end up killing the rest of the team or dying yourself before you actually accomplish an objective and i think the problem is that they don't exactly explain the objective well enough because there was times when for some reason it would put us on the same team like we'd be shooting at each other for like a whole like two to three minutes and then we realized that they're on our team are we on the same team is that why we can't hit each other this is weird so it's like, wait a minute, why are they on our team? That makes no sense to us. Like, I thought this was like a 3v3v3, not a 6v3. Like, they don't explain it well enough for the player to understand. And it's like, do you even want to learn it? Because the matches are like stupid fast. So, I mean, I guess I'll say that there are three teams and each team has an objective. And you don't necessarily need to accomplish it, but I assume you get more points if you do. And each objective is different from the other teams. It's what's unique about this game is that you almost never play the same objective. It's always different. But the biggest issue that I have with it is that each objective is never fully explained. I mean, it is explained, but it's not like in your face, you know? It's like off to the right right there. You can easily miss it with all this other UI right here. But enough about that. Let's talk about the maps. The maps were... Well, a lot more fleshed out this time around. Compared to the empty and barren ones that we played last time, these ones definitely have a lot more detail in it. They're big vertical maps and you can barricade a lot of stuff if you wanted to defend a position. My biggest issue with it is that the map rotation was pretty bad. Like I pretty much played on the same map the entire time that I was playing. I only played on the other map maybe like once or twice. I actually don't know how many maps they actually have, but I only played on two maps the whole time that I was playing. Yeah, like a desert map that reminded me of uh, Rust from Modern Warfare 2 and also an urban looking map some sort of rundown city because there was a lot of like vines and stuff growing over it those are the only two that i can remember that might actually be all the maps that they have but i'm not entirely sure they're just a-okay -okay maps you know i didn't really find anything wrong with them and yeah so overall the game is just okay it's gonna be a free to play so i mean i think the best thing to do is just to try it out for yourself to see if you're someone that would actually like this type of game because again i came out with the mixed feeling and thought it was just okay so yeah i'm gonna end the video here if you're someone that enjoys the fact that i cover games like nine to five then be sure to like the video share the video and comment down below if you're someone that would like to support the channel check out my patreon just send two bucks a month it really helps if you're someone that's new to the channel be sure to subscribe and ding the bell you never know you might find something that you like on the channel and with that all being said i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye